Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 11 Let's Play. Where today, as usual, I'm just trying to play keep up. <laughs> I have three builders available and one of them is finishing in three hours. So this is a problem, a big problem. Also, the other big problem is that I really need these ice golems to finish upgrading because I'm really having a hard time. I need to, I need to donate ice golems to my own accounts and I can't because it won't be maxed. I'd rather wait for somebody else to donate a maxed ice golem so that this is a problem. I got four days to wait. I can be patient for four days, especially because I don't have enough. Well, actually, technically, I do have enough gems, but you guys know me by now. I don't waste gems. I just don't. So, um, yeah, that's my problem. But what we do have successfully accomplished is a bunch of three stars. Check this out, guys. Okay, ignore the one on the bottom. That was a Town Hall 12 that I failed on. But look at these top two attacks. A t uh, three star against this uh, base, 5,800 Dark Elixir. And then the one below that, 3,700. Not bad, but not great. So, yeah, having a great time with this strategy. Uh, basically... Burning Dark Elixir, because I don't really need a lot of it, um, and trying to accumulate Elixir by using my Hog Attack. I love this strategy. I've been enjoying the heck out of it. And right now, since my main Town Hall 12 account is sitting in uh, Jericho Rising with this account, my Town Hall 11, dude, I'm donating Valkyries and Wall Wreckers to myself. It is amazing what this strategy can do when it's well equipped. Like attacking without a Wall Wrecker is really, really tough. So, um, this is what we're going to do today. We're going to accumulate some loot. We might buy some loot from uh, the uh, the clan store, the metal the metal store, whatever. And we're going to at least try to get another defense upgrading and uh, just keep on chipping at this thing. And, oh, baby! <laughs> wow. Dude, that is amazing. All right, so here's what we're going to do here, guys. Um, we're going we're gonna to kill this base. All right, where's the queen? Queen? Oh, baby. Queen is upgrading. This is a win for us already. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to attack from this side to get into the Eagle Artillery. All right, if we could take out that Eagle Artillery early, then, bro, we're going to be sitting pretty. All right, so let's go uh, Golem down. Let's go Wall Wrecker. Let's actually take out a few buildings with the uh, funnel troops here. Let's go King, Bowlers, and Queen. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save my... Um, I'm gonna save my, uh, what's that thing called? My Warden, there we go, for my Hog Riders. All right, so let's drop a Rage right in there. And as soon as the Wall Wrecker breaks through that wall, guys, we're gonna have ourselves a good time. Let's drop another Rage. All right, pop that King's ability through there. But those Valkyries under Rage are just utter pure destruction. Oh, baby, it is beautiful. All right, so unfortunately, Queen's been tacked on by a multi or single Inferno, so we're gonna go ahead and pop her ability, but let's get the hogs in here now. Let's get the warden in there now. And I still have, oh yeah, the queen's so done. All right, so the queen's done, uh, but now we have just a ring of defenses and these hogs are just gonna be able to just fly on through. All right, so let's drop a heal right in there. All right, that's a, that's a good heal. Also, I wanna drop a poison, but I wanna wait just in case we find any more. And I'm gonna start the cleanup on that side too, all right? So, uh, poison over the king and the wall, or the, uh, skeletons. That's good. That's good. Also, ooh, I, I forgot I have freezes. All right, let's go ahead and freeze that expo just for the fun of it. Because it was fun. It was really fun to freeze that expo. And uh, I'm thinking, uh, heal through this bomb tower. Also, I have, let's, you know what, let's freeze that bomb tower. Oh, freezing, freezing the bomb tower doesn't stop the bomb. Okay. And I got the, uh, warden's ability. So why not just pop the warden's ability there? Very nice, and I guess we can use the archer way over there. I usually bring the uh, wall breakers in case my heroes need to go somewhere. It's very rare, but it's come in handy a lot of times. So in this situation, what I do is I just kind of just spam them for fun. Maybe in a position where I would pop a giant bomb. See, I expected the giant bomb to be closer to the wall there, but, you know, that's all right. So what we're going to do now, watch this, guys. The hogs, as soon as the hogs are aware of that king, that level 19 rushed as heck king is going to get obliterated. Watch this. Watch this. And get some! Didn't take long, did it? So that was amazing. That is going to be a three-star. Easy peasy. And the loot. Can't forget about the loot. And where in the world was the Seeking Air Mines? That baby dragon lived forever. Was it a dead base? I think it was, actually. I think it had, like, a, a few bombs, obviously. Um, but... You know, that's the beauty of dead bases, guys. Look at that loot. Oh, my goodness. Over a million elixir. No. Yeah, over a million elixir. That is amazing. And nearly a million gold, too. Uh, and 6,200 dark elixir. I mean, that is celebratory loot right there. That was amazing. Now, I'm going to pull up my phone so I can donate to myself. 
a clan castle. All right, so let's request for that. Thank you very much. And uh, I've got the game popping up right here. Oh, oh, get some Town Hall 12 action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. KG, don't forget to subscribe to the Klaus Gaming YouTube channel because that's that's just the smart thing to do. All right, so let's drop some Valkyries in there. Let's get a Rage and let's get a Wall Wrecker. All right, so everything is in. Thank you very much. I don't really ever bother with donating like the extra three troop spaces because they don't really make a big difference. So right quick, I wanted to show you guys this 5858 uh, Dark Elixir because this is a Town Hall 12 that I managed to three star with my Town Hall 11. Now look at this queen, level 26. This is a Town Hall 9 level queen and a level 25 king, which is Town Hall 9 level king on a Town Hall 12. This is a rushed Town Hall 12. This is why you want to upgrade and max your stuff, guys. I am a teacher, I'm an educator, and I can show you with proof that you don't want to rush your base because then small little weenie bases like mine can come in and dominate you and that's what is up so check this out valkyries in the core they're gonna come out they're gonna get some work done now they don't quite get this town hall 12 down all right but they do successfully get the eagle artillery down before it has a chance to get off any shots which is amazing so it's a lot of damage on that um that town hall 12 and now you can better believe that the hog riders are about to come in. But yeah, get in there, take out the enemy queen, lure CC, and even maybe take out the Giga Tesla if there is one. Um, in this case, they didn't quite get it, but that was a good kill squad. So now the hogs are leading in. Um, I've still got, remember, three heal spells and not a lot of base, honestly, if you look at it. Like, the most dangerous part is the core, because the multi infernos and for the Giga Tesla. So I went ahead and freeze the Giga Tesla. Um, and then the worst, the next worst part is the uh, wizard towers in on the end so you know hold on to a couple of heal spells and maybe a freeze and dude you are sitting pretty so there's a heal on the wizard towers there's a heal on the back side just to keep that little group on the right kind of alive and then freezing over the wizard towers and dude it is utter domination that is going to be a town hall 11 v 12 three star and the loot was solid oh and there goes the baby dragon seeking air mine totally dominated that poor little guy um, but hey, it worked out. I've got two baby dragons actually and check it out We're gonna get some loot with it, but seriously guys upgrade your stuff like this poor guy had no chance to defend Oh, man stupid seeking your minds Killing my baby dragons man. That's terrible It's the worst thing ever, but yeah, so that was all the loot right there man 100% dark elixir 100% gold 100% elixir 3 star town 11 v 12 and the loot that's a lot of loot. I mean, it's over 600,000 gold and elixir and a beautiful, and I'm saying it's beautiful, over 7k dark elixir with that Champion League 2 loot bonus. Yes, guys, I'm working my way up to Titan League. Thank you for asking. So, there we go. Three star, beautiful loot, and an 11v12 three star. So now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to attack another base. Wait a minute. Do I get something? Do I get a... I don't get anything. I don't even care about this clock tower potion. But I'm working my way up. Eventually, we may make it to this Book of Heroes. But hey, my Town 11 is maxed out, so it doesn't really matter. But you know what? We'll, we're working our way up. So now we're going to attack without our King or our Queen. We do have our Warden, which is kind of a big victory. So what I'll probably end up doing this time, depending on the base design, is I might send my Warden in with my Kill Squad. Because what I want to do here is I want to make sure that I take out the enemy Queen. And that'll be difficult without my Heroes. And take out an enemy CC. Um, and, and honestly, we're... we're we're screwed if it's an air uh, clan castle. Like, if there's a clan castle and if it's air troops, we're in big trouble because I don't have... Okay, I do have a poison that it's only level... What level is that? Five. I thought it was a two. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm a rusher. But no, uh, it's a level... It's level five. Um, but yeah, without the queen, air targeting or air troops, like uh, dragons are the worst if you don't have a queen. So what I'm going to try to do, and I think this may be successful, is I'm going to try to find a base that looks like it hasn't been logged into. Because if I find one of those... I know that the clan castle has been lured, um, or has been lured and killed already. Maybe a few tra uh, traps aren't there, and not having my heroes won't be that big of a deal. Also, if I can find a massive amount of gold, then that would be great, because I need at least 7 million gold in order to upgrade another defense, and I've got 6.2 million, so I'm a little ways away. So guys, I'll be right back once I find that perfect base, and um, hopefully we can find something that'll actually allow me to destroy it, even though I don't have my heroes. Oh, so I've been searching for 20 minutes. Okay, more like five. But it's it felt, it, it's been feeling like a long time, and I'm ready to just hit a base. So this base will do. It's got over half a million gold, and it's got all these lovely little tombstones, which means it might not have a CC. That means that a CC has killed troops, which means a CC may have killed 
the troops may have killed the CC. This is all obviously, um, I don't know. It, it may not be true. We'll just have to see. All right. This is, um, this is going to be scary. Where's the queen? Queen's upgrading. Oh, baby. Oh, wait, wait, wait. She's just not there. All right. Cool. Well, then, uh, no CC. That's awesome. All right. So, uh, golem, you need to do your thing. Bowlers, you do your thing too. Let's go, um, baby dragon. Get some wizard action up in here. Baby dragon out there too. And I, uh, definitely need these bowlers to get in here too. And then, obviously, like I said, we gotta get our Grand Warden up in here! Because we are not going to fail this attack because we did not make it to the core. So, looks like the CC is, in fact, empty. Oh! Oh, crap. Okay, nope. We... <laughs> Dang it! We got an Eagle Artillery... Or, uh, Electro Dragon. <laughs> oh, this is terrible! Alright, let's, um, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna freeze that CC, alright? It's in the poison. So, it should be okay. The Eagle is dead. That's awesome. And yeah, that that um that uh electro dragon's so going to survive this. No. Okay. So here's what we got to do now. The Valkyries take out the town hall. That's awesome. But we have to lure and kill this eagle artillery. Uh, dang it. Electro dragon. Jeez. They're both E's. All right. So get over here. Get over here, little buddy. I've got one flipping wizard. This is going to be a rough rough ride. Uh, you know, here, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to we're just going to YOLO our hogs, all right? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna YOLO our hogs and um, hope for the best. All right, that's all we can do, dude. That's all we can do. Maybe if I freeze the Electro Dragon, let's just freeze the Electro Dragon. Yeah, 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 get down, Electro Dragon. Get down, you ain't got no time for this. I don't have any time for this. No, go away, <laughs> oh man, stupid. So this is the risk that I run. You, you need your queen, all right? Because if the queen had been there, if the queen had been involved, then this would have been an easy, easy three star, I think. Because the queen would have taken out the eagle or the freaking electro dragon. I can't think today. I don't know what the deal is. I'm just flustered. And you know how often I use the word flustered? Not very often. Uh, but dang it, stupid electro dragon. All right, well, a lot of defenses went down. And the wizard down here, he's getting some loot, all right? Get that gold. Get that gold out of there. Where's the... Oh, that's where we want. That's, that's where the gold is. Oh, man. And watch this. We're about to see an electric dragon cross our path, and it's going to be terrifying. Yep, it's it's happening. It's happening. Well, somehow we survived almost to the end of the clock. Look at that. Battle ending in 23 seconds. Stupid. I hate, I hate your face, man. I hate your face. See, this is the risk that you run without your heroes. And remember I was saying, oh, yeah, see those tombstones right there? That means that the CC probably died. Nope. They didn't die. That's the worst. Uh, okay, well, okay, okay. Positive side. With that loot bonus, we're still over 300,000, which is my minimum, uh, but definitely not the loot that I was hoping for. Stupid CC. I knew it was a risk. I knew it was a risk. What did we learn? We learned, um, if you don't, ooh, what did we learn? If you don't have your clan castle, or I mean, if you don't have your queen, bring a poison spell or two poison spells. If I would have dropped a poison and then dropped a second poison and froze the electro dragon inside that poison, GG. Right, and I don't necessarily need free spells on a base that has single targeting infernos, as I normally freeze like multi infernos for the hogs or wizard towers or something. So, ah, you know what? For future reference, that's what we'll do. All right, so let's bounce into my progress base. Queen, are you happy with yourself? It was your fault that I did not three star that base. It's not really your fault, King. You couldn't have helped much, but the queen, it was your fault for sure. We're gonna we're gonna pass on the blame. All right, so let's actually do some upgrading, guys. I have um I have no army, wow, but I do have a little bit. Wow, didn't know that was in there. Okay, three million. Holy cannoli, three million golden elixir and fifteen thousand dark elixir, dude. I will collect that all day long. Wow, dude, we almost maxed out our gold storage. That's awesome. All right, so what do we want to upgrade? I say we do something. I say we upgrade an Archer Tower. I mean, we've been working on the Archer Towers this entire time. It would be great if we could start moving things across the map. And these Archer Towers only have one level left. So let's do this, guys. Let's upgrade. Let's just do this one. Let's upgrade this Archer Tower, guys. 7 million gold. 8 day upgrade. They're a little bit longer upgrades. A little bit... Gives us a little bit more of a buffer to accumulate loot to get another one going. Another builder. So, let's do this, guys. 7 million gold. 8 day upgrade. 3, 2, 1. Bam. 
Nice. All right, so you're going to be moved across the way. I'm going to put you right across from the air defense. This uh, progress base needs some help. It's not very organized. Uh, but that was, wow, that was pretty much all the gold that we had. All right, well, let's uh, move this arch tower over. Now that we're nice and lined up and clean and pretty. I don't have, okay, how many medals do I have again? I have, wow, 329? Buy some gold. There we go. Nice. All right, so with 50 medals, I can now afford another arch tower upgrade. Why not, dude? Let's do this. Let's go. Let's upgrade this Archer Tower and 321. Bam. Yes, I realize I accidentally hit the button. But I still said 321. Bam. It's all good, guys. Don't panic. All right. So let's um let's actually just move this little guy over here. Move this guy up here. There we go. So now we've got two Archer Towers upgrading from today's video. They are right there. That's cool. That's great. That's 14 million loot, y'all. And then don't forget, we have oh dang it. This guy finishing in two and a half hours. So I like to hang out at one builder available out of five. That way I can pour extra loot into walls if it if it ever happens. It never happens though. Ooh, it's about to happen. Check this out. So let's go into my progress or my laboratory. The only elixir upgrades I have left is the dragon, the Pekka, and the free spell and the clone spell. All right, those are kind of cool. The clone spell we've been using, um, but I should you know what? I should probably hold on to my elixir actually because I would like to do that clone spell upgrade and the free spell upgrade. Those are both super valuable. I only did the ice golem to build a um, to build a donate max ice golems because those are super useful. Probably should upgrade the Pekka then too because I think a max Pekka is level nine. Hold on, let me check right quick. Blouse profile max Pekka is level eight. Oh, okay. Well then, that means what does that mean? That means that I've um, I don't need to upgrade the the Pekka to be able to donate a max Pekka. So I'm good. I don't care about the Pekka. That's awesome. So definitely want to hold on to my elixir, actually. Um, I'm sitting at 8 million right now. I've got four days. I've got plenty of time, but I, I, that, here's the problem. I'm going to have excess dark elixir again. I might want to switch over to like a bow witch attack. That would be, that would spend some dark elixir, and then I can get my elixir upgrades over with so I can start pouring all of my elixir into my walls. That would be, kind of be a smart thing to do. I don't know what to do, man. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to upgrade a wall. Tongue tied. I'm going to upgrade me a wall. Four million elixir. Let's go. Three, two, one. Bam. And then now we are still in the same predicament. I'm maxing my dark elixir. I've got four days to my laboratory is done. I want to do elixir upgrades, which means I need to be using that dark elixir so I don't max the storage. Ah, I don't know what to do. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, your suggestions. I'm, I'm still, I'm thinking about switching to like a bow witch just for fun. I know it's expensive. I know it takes a long time to train them up, but I think it'd be fun. <laughs> so guys, that is going to have to do it for me today in this episode of our Town Hall 11 Let's Play. We did good. We got some uh, defenses going. We got a wall done. And we're slowly working our way to a max base. Be sure and like the video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button also if you have not done so already for daily Clash of Clans gaming videos and a joining Klaus family. And remember that I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.